Hello everyone, it's time for Practice Corner. It's been a little while since I've seen you guys. Um, I went to uh, London, Ontario and did some Suzuki early childhood training and then we had a family trip and the my first uh, few weeks back were uh, pretty full with lots of work and catching up and everything and so now um, will hopefully be back on kind of a more regular schedule. I was doing these videos on Monday, but right now I'm not teaching on Monday. So for the summer, I'm going to be doing them on Tuesday evenings. And so you can look forward to them then. Um, I'll actually do this one and then I'm going to do another one next week. And then after that, it'll be back to every other week for a little bit. And then in September, we'll be probably back to Mondays again. We'll see. I don't know what my schedule will look like yet until we get to the fall. So today I wanted to talk about, um, it, sh it should be a pretty quick and easy one today because I wanted to talk about the importance of um, live performance. And um, I had, I was really lucky, a friend of mine had an extra ticket to see the Organ Bach Festival um, closing concert, the Beethoven Mises Solemnis, and it is, it's been a while since I've gone to see a concert. I have young children and it's just tricky to go and do, so it was such a treat and it just reminded me, it just struck me on just how important that going to see live performances. I mean, even even for somebody who's a musician, it's important, but for your children, it's important. Now, maybe you're not up to doing a concert at seven o'clock at night, that's too late, it's running into bedtime, but summer is the time to go see live music um, because it is everywhere, in Eugene at least. Um, it's all over the parks, it's outside, it's super family friendly. So, um, my family also went to the Eugene Symphony concert in the park that just happened in, um, in at Cuthbert. That just happened this last weekend. And if you didn't get a chance to do it this summer, put it on your calendar for next year. Usually the tickets um, come out in June and um, you do have to get the tickets quickly because they, they tend to go very, since it's free, they go really quickly. So um, that is, it's super family friendly. It's a little bit late at night, but it's just such a great family concert because the kids can move, it's outside. Um, they can, you know, you're on blankets and you're, you're enjoying it. There's just something really magical about the sun setting as you're, um, as you're doing, you know, you're listening to this gorgeous music. So. Uh, put that in your calendar for next year if you didn't get to go this year. And the other thing is that there's another thing to kind of keep in mind for next year is there are often lots of free concerts around the Oregon Bach Festival just in the lobby of the Holt Center or um, I think they even have some outside. Around the Holt though they also do what's called Party on the Plaza and that is really worth checking out. They are all free. They're in um, this courtyard area next to the Holt Center, and so that would be an amazing um, opportunity, too. So you're going to get a wide range. They're not just music acts, so you can kind of figure out what you guys want to go to, but they're happening, I think, every week. And if you look on Facebook or if you search for Party on the Plaza, you'll, you should be able to find them. Uh, the other thing that is super accessible in the summertime is Eugene Sunday Streets often has outdoor music as well. And they have had um, something in one of the parks, in, a, in one of the neighborhoods. It seems like they're hitting every neighborhood, so you can kind of look around and see what will work for you. Um, when you're th The other thing is that you can start planning for during the year, you know, it, now the um, the Eugene Symphony season is out and some of those concerts are more kid friendly than others and some of them are really special concerts. I actually 
I have to admit, I haven't really looked at what this new season is going to be. There's a new director, which is really exciting. Um, but this new, you know, if you look at what the season is, there may be something that fits for your family really well. Um, and if you want to make kind of a trip of it, it would be good to look at the organ symphony also. And maybe, I know that they do specifically kid concerts and you, you know, what a special day to go up to Oregon, to the Oregon Symphony in Portland and, you know, the, um, the Schnitzer Hall is gorgeous and you get to, you know, have this special concert with kids and then do whatever else you want to do for the, I think a lot of times they're a matinee kind of time for those and um, I know they have some of them on the weekends too. So if, um, now is kind of the time to start just looking at that and thinking, oh, you know, I think I might be interested in doing this or that. So, um, the reason that that seeing that live performance, there's just, you know, we listen, obviously with the Suzuki philosophy, we listen, we listen, we listen to our CD, um, a lot, but live performance, there is an electricity about it. There's a, there's something um, you just are not going to get off the CD and there's a, a visual element too of watching the musicians of seeing what they're doing seeing where they sit in the orchestra or or if it's a you know marimba band or something you know how they create s different sounds and all of that so you definitely you know there's something to be said for what you gain with live music um, and in just coming to the lesson and hearing me play when we're learning new things is not really enough. So it's a good goal to try to have at least, you know, one or two live performances that you're seeing every year. Um, even better would be like once each, like quarterly or every term. Um, you know, just kind of see, and like I said, summer is the time for the like free, outdoors, super family friendly concerts. So uh, try to plan one, the, one of those in for the last few months, uh, last month really of our summer. So um, the other thing that I just wanted to mention about around performance is that it's also a really sweet time to maybe make uh, your own little performance. Um, you could go busk at Saturday Market if you wanted to be super public. Or if you want something smaller and um, more, you know, just friends or family, it's a great time to do just a little outdoor concert. So ask a few neighbors over. It doesn't have to be very formal, you know, just even if it's just one or two songs. Um, it's just that chance of practicing performance. It, performance is only easy when we do it on a regular basis and it feels natural and, and just part of what we do um, instead of it being a big deal and, a, and something that's rare and built up in this way that makes it feel, um, you know, like it's impossible to succeed at it. So, you know, this is such a fantastic time to do a little performance on the deck or in the garden or go take, if you have a friend to play with, go play with them at the park. You, you know, you create your own thing. So anyway, um, I hope that inspires you to kind of try something new. Um, and maybe, um, may, or maybe think about it again, like, oh yeah, you know, I, I haven't thought about that. We need to go to a concert or we haven't gone to a concert for a while. And it's, it's time for us to find something to go do together as a family. So anyway, I'm just going to finish, of course, with the Dr. Suzuki quote. Um, and this one is a favorite. It's that music is the language of the heart. Um, you know, as a Suzuki teacher, we are really focused on uh, music creating um, empathy and creating um, connection to other people and creating community. And so, um, you know, that one, that quote just really gets to that. And I feel like performing for other people and watching performances also just 
helps um, tap into the emotions of of of, of music and the um, and just the heart the heart of it. So I will hopefully see you guys next week. And um, if you have anything else to add, or maybe you know of something else that's going on in town, or I'm not super sure I know anything that's going on in Springfield, but I'm sure there's some stuff there too. If you know of anything else that you would love to share, please share it in the comments. Um, super interested in trying to get as good of a list for everybody so that we can, um, everyone can find things that'll work for them. Okay, happy practicing.